All right. Hello world, Becca here from Inside the Square with another Squarespace tutorial. Today I wanted to show you how to create an anchor link using code. Now what is an anchor link? An anchor link is a piece of code that is used to pull a section of a website or a web page to the top of the browser. So really great for single page sites, contact forms, and really easy to create. I wanted to show you a quick example of how this works. So you see on my sample page here, if we scroll all the way down, we've got this contact form on the bottom. Well, up here in my menu, I actually have contact form listed as a link. You'll notice this is a link and not an actual page on the website, denoted by that little symbol there, okay? So when someone clicks this button, they're taken immediately to the contact form that's pulled up to the top of the browser. So let me show you that again. They select the button, and instead of going to a different page, they go further down the page to where the anchor link is. So a quick look at that code breakdown. What we need to do is provide a div ID by labeling a section of our website using code, okay? So in between these quotation marks, we have a series of letters and spell out a word or use any type of combination that you'd like. Note that no spaces are allowed. This is just text, okay? So let me show you how to create this in an example. I'm gonna edit this on-page content. And let's say we wanna link someone to this section of the website here. Right above section one, I'm going to select this little add feature and we will add a snippet of code. This is where we're going to type div ID equals quotation marks anchor. And again, whatever you want to call it. As soon as I hit that enter button, you'll notice Squarespace automatically closed that for me. So we're good to go. After I've typed that in, I'll select apply and select save. Now you'll see nothing is actually showing up on the website right there. That little snippet of code is there, but no text is being displayed. Now I just want to add this as a link to my main navigation up here. So I'll select the plus button and the link button. Here we can title it section or whatever you'd like to call it. <laughs> and then when you click to add a URL, instead of typing a URL, use the hashtag symbol and the name of your anchor. This right here is what we typed into the div ID. So the name of the anchor goes there. I'll select save and now we can watch it in action. When we click on section, it scrolls down to this part of the website. Pretty cool, right? Now you might be thinking, that's great, but I don't want it on my menu. I want it in the content on my website. Totally possible. I'll scroll down here and we'll edit this on-page content and I'll show you how to create a link within text. So here is some sample text. This should be the link here. All right, I'm just gonna highlight this part and select the link button from my little menu that pops up here, okay? And again, just like we did in the main navigation, we'll add the hashtag and the title of the anchor. I'll select add link and save. Now when we click on this link in text, we're taken down to where that anchor exists. So again, you can add this inside text, you can add it to your navigation, main navigation, secondary, really doesn't matter. <laughs> Anywhere you can put a link on your website, you can link to your anchor. Now keep in mind, no space is allowed and it needs to be between quotation marks. That's it for today's tutorial. Have fun with your Squarespace website. Ready for more? Head on over to InsideTheSquare.co for more tutorials and exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. That's InsideTheSquare.co.